everybody welcome back to my channel today I'm going to show you how I do my sew-in with a lace closure so I'm going to start with a net I was originally going to make a wig but then I decided to do a sew-in so that's why I have this cap I'm going to be using the silk thread this is my first time using it um I had a couple problems with it but it's all right I kind of like it for the most part I also pre-threaded my needles and then I have my lace closure I bleached the knots on this so it'll look more realistic. And then I have my hair, which is from Gem Beauty Supply Brazilian Water Wave. It's an AliExpress company. So this is my braiding pattern. Um, I already have a part down the middle. I have a perimeter braid and just some plaits, um, you know, in the middle of my head. And I also left some hair out for my leave out around my whole perimeter. Start by placing the uh, cap on my head, positioning it how I like it, and then I'm going to sew the cap down around my perimeter braid. And so I do have a braid for my leave out, so make sure you sew it on the braid for your perimeter and not your leave out braid. And I'm just going to stitch um, around my entire head just so that the net is secure. So after I finish sewing it down, um, I'm also going to make a stitch around my parted area if that makes sense because I am going to cut the middle part of this net so that the lace closure will lay flat and flush to my natural part. I can't really explain it but you can see I'm braiding um, around my parted area and now I'm going to cut the net off. Just all that excess, that's why I sewed it all down. Make sure you don't cut your real hair. As you see, I'm going to cut right down the middle um, where my part is and cut off that excess lace right there. And that's why I did the stitching around the part so that. Um, the net doesn't fall off. So now I'm just going to lay my closure down, kind of place it to see where I want it. And then I'm just going to sew around the perimeter of the closure first. And after the perimeter of the closure, I didn't record the whole thing, but after that's been um, sewn down, I'm just going to part a little bit of the front of my closure, and then I'm going to sew along that parted area onto the braid. And I learned this method from Ivy here on YouTube, and it really helps your closure lay flat in the front and look natural as well. So now I'm just going to sew in that parted area. And I'm going to sew it down to my one of the braids that I have in under my head as my base. And so this is how the closure looks once it's been sewn down completely. It lays very flat. And then once I pull my leave out, out in the front, it'll blend even more naturally. Next, I'm going to take my hair and I'm just going to do a basic sew-in. So I always start my sew-ins with a perimeter braid or perimeter track around um, the leave out. I'm measuring that now. And then I'm just going to sew that track um under that perimeter braid. And so this is how it looks once it's been sewn down. And I like to do it like this um, because I like to pull my hair up and it helps with flipping. It makes it look more natural when your hair is pulled over it. 
And so now I'm just going to take um, the remainder of that bundle and I'm going to start sewing it in all that space. And I'm just going to do the flip method and go, or the fold over method and go back and forth and sewing the track down. And so my head is pretty small. This is one bundle sewn into my head and I wanted this to be really full. So the next bundle I double weft it. So I basically do the same thing except um, I double it and I still sew it down and fold it over. Some of them I did cut just so that it wouldn't be bulky when I folded it over. But it's pretty much all the same technique and just filling it in until you reach the perimeter of your closure. So this is the final look after everything's been sewn down. Um, yeah, I really like this install with the lace closure and my perimeter left out. I have a lot of versatility. I can pull it up in a ponytail. I can wear it in the middle part. I can flip it over to one side. Um, it just allows a lot of versatility um, with this install. And so even though I bleach my knots, I'm still going to take some powder that's a little lighter than my skin tone and just apply it to my part just so that my natural part uh, blends in with the part in the lace closure. I don't have to do this every day because it does pretty much nat match the natural color of my scalp since I bleach the knots on this closure. To styling this hair this hair is Brazilian water wave but all of my bundles were different textures kind of some of the bundles were more curlier some of them were the longer lengths were a lot um, looser so first I'm gonna start by just flat ironing running the flat iron through my leave out in the front and then I'm just going to take this small curling iron and just add some wand curls to the hair just to give it some more texture and define the curl pattern a little more since the curl pattern is a little messy. I'm not going to do my whole head in a uniformed uh, wand curl, but I'm just going to go in and find places, wand curl it, kind of finger comb it out and fluff it out. And that is pretty much it. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you want more information on this hair, I will leave the link to that video down below and I will see you all next time. Bye!